one of the things I think is critical, especially in managing time, and, and you know, Rena, you and I have talked about this extensively, is taking time for us. And it's, it is actually becoming an issue in a lot of universities right now because uh, this old concept of 24-7 just doesn't work anymore. Uh, yeah. you're, we're getting stressed out. We're getting run down. We're getting burnt out. Uh, and it was, in fact, some institutions I've, I've worked at uh, won't even let their faculty go on vacation because it's a 24-7 concept. That's ridiculous. You've got to take time for yourself, and, and if you establish that guideline or that concept or that rule, when you first start a course, you tell your students that on Saturdays, I'm, I'm with my family, so don't expect to hear from me, or on Sundays, or I wouldn't take both days off, but you know that you know, it's entirely up to you and your school policy, but I think it's critical that you take time off for yourself and have your students respect that time, and you respect their time, too. I think that's a really important point because you you do start to burn out even in the middle of a course if you are just perpetually available to your students and in in the face to face classroom the instructor is not perpetually available it's just the fact that we're using technology which makes us more available and um we're all sort of not we're all, but a lot of online instructors now are also playing with other ways of being available, like using Twitter and being on Facebook. And so I think it's becoming even more critical um, that we establish that sort of time away, that private time. I'm very careful, even in using Skype, for example, um, that I don't make my I don't make myself widely available. I only make myself available to my contact list so that if I'm on Skype and I'm doing a session like this and another student or a student gets on and sees that I'm on Skype, I don't want that person nudging me while I'm involved in doing other kinds of work using the medium. So there are lots of ways where we have to sort of set some boundaries around how we work online so that we retain some of that private space for ourselves. Mm-hmm.